got a long black male, 53. He's been shooting all day. And he has a prior history of schizophrenia. What I'm gonna do is push the front door open. We got fumes coming out the front door. He might be trying to blow the house up. Anytime you're at a barricaded gunman with a schizophrenic or somebody that's mentally ill, you kind of have to change your tactics because they're unsafe. County and it was all caught on camera. Tonight, police say two of them are still on the run. Seven Action News reporter Tara Edwards is in the newsroom now with more. Well, Glenda, it all happened in the early morning hours Tuesday. Now, police would like your help tracking down the people responsible. You see from this dash cam video an F-150 pickup truck flying down I-94 westbound. Several police cruisers follow close behind. The pickup with a plow attached to the front end and a trailer hauling a Kawasaki four-wheeler on the back. The chase continues for miles on the freeway until the pickup hits a car on the highway. You can see several police cars continue while this one pulls over to assist the other driver. Cancel. They had proper code. I don't believe he's going to the location. All right, Guardian 1, I got somebody running at the church. Uh, they're running eastbound, uh, right behind. Uh, Andres is showing 5131 64th Way Southeast. Our breaking news tracker got that exclusive video of two drivers making a run for the border. One was caught while the other slammed his way into Mexico. 10 News reporter Jared Aaron joins us live from the San Ysidro border crossing. Jared, the end of that chase was pretty intense. Yes, it was, Virginia. Bill, good morning. When cops tried to pull over two cars, one of them took off, going 120 miles an hour towards the San Ysidro border crossing. And you can take a look at the lanes below us. You see some of the damage left behind when the driver of that minivan started ramming other cars out of the way. 10 News got a copy of the police scanner traffic from last night. You can hear how tense officers were as they got near the border. 792, 792, there, the vehicle is ramming another vehicle at the K-Rails. Copy vehicle ramming other vehicles at the K-Rails. Police tell 10 News the chase started just around midnight on the 805 up near the 52 interchange. They tried to pull over a Jeep Wrangler and a minivan, both of which were reported as stolen. The driver of the Jeep did stop, but he jumped out of his car and started to run away. Police caught him using search dogs. The driver of the minivan sped off, though, leading cops on that 120-mile-an-hour chase before hitting other cars here at the border crossing and then escaping into Mexico. There were no injuries reported, by the way, during this chase. You can clearly see everything has been cleared up here at the San Ysidro border crossing. Live at the San Ysidro crossing, Jared Aarons, 10 News.